part. So underway then for the second half at the Cairo International Stadium. Al Ali won the Heartland nil. Halfway, the job has been done for Al Ali. Looking for the umpteenth appearance in the CAF Champions League semi finals. It's a matter of uh, building on what they've created during the course of the uh, first half. Of course, you can be sure that there is going to be a lot coming back as far as uh, Heart and Duck concerned. No changes that are evident during uh, the half-time break so far. The match referee, Mr. Ayob, with a smile on his face, having a chat to Sharif for Abdel Fadil, centre-back for Al-Ali. On the semi-finals of the competition, first leg takes place over the first weekend of October, first, second and third, and the second uh, two weeks after that. Final leg of uh, both Group A and Group B uh, will be taking place next weekend. Some interesting fixtures there on Tom Satif in Group A, hosting Titi Mazembe. Dynamo is hosting Esperanza de Tudis on the same day, and then in Group B, Heartland against Jais Kabili and Ismaili Ali in an all-Egyptian clash. The final of this competition will be played on the final weekend of October and the second week of November 2010. So lots to look forward to as far as the Champions League knockout stages are concerned. Here's a man who's been influential today for Lali, Nagy into the penalty area. There's over a fast challenge coming from Mohamed Fadel. Searching, probing ball from the left wing, and Alali have provided plenty of that throughout the course of the game, but just a little burrowing in from the Alali number seven will provide a free kick for Heartland. Has Negi once again, who continues his battle with the right back, Orji. Orji wins this time around through the middle from Ibanegu. Now there's a bit of space on the inside left position. Aweri trying to stretch his legs, but uh, Alali quick with a response now. Ahmed Fati, the goal scorer. This is Mohamed Rahman. Rahman again. Does this. And Johnny Jackson's done enough to hold off against the, the Alali number 16. Coach Pratt thinking that his side. An opportunity for a, another corner kick, but uh, not so. Good defending from Kingsley Yudo. Well, Al Ali have been so adept at finding this space down either flank. It's going to be a problem for Hartland throughout the remainder of this encounter. Fellow Kofamata finds Yupido. Nice control from Ibanegu. Ibanegu and Wachi teaming up in the middle of the park. Yupido once again. Poached away by Sayed Mabobad. Now Alali got plenty of options here to the left and to the right. A good ball. Mabobad first time into the area. Bit of hesitation. Oh, goal! It's then by Cork Flat put it again. We almost seem to get his legs to tangle up with each other, and surely now El Ali will play in the semi finals of the CAF Champions League once again. They wanted to strike early, and they've done that with Drew Mohamed Fadel. And the home supporters absolutely delighted. Didn't look as if the ball had enough power on it to find the back of the net, but somehow Zenwa got his feet all tangled up with each other. And Mohamed Patel has doubled the score here a moment into the second half. There was a shot, it might have even taken a deflection to be honest, but uh, had the wrong footing of Ikechiku Zenwa. There was the attempted header away. Difficult to see from that angle, but Zenwa certainly did look a little bit flummoxed. Doesn't make any difference. Patel has Al Ali leading by two to nothing, and the coach is absolutely delighted. 
Yeah, he's pointing to one of his own defenders, I think. As it took away anyway. There's nothing you can do about that as a goalkeeper. It takes a deflection if you've already committed yourself. That's that. And as far as the fans are concerned, that's that as far as Hartland are concerned. Five minutes into the second half, Alali. Double their advantage. It's going to be very, very difficult now. One would feel for Hartland to make anything out of the rest of this match. Beach Soccer International, Ibanegu limps off with what looks like an injury and he's not going to be replaced Dartland restart down to 10 men te temporarily as Ikechukur Ibanegu receives medical attention on the touchline well, Ali will be hoping that the goalkeeper, Sharif Bakrami, doesn't have to make too many saves over the remainder of this encounter. That's Patel, Mawabad, should get the throw in of 40. Patel once again, Nagy free down the left hand side. Hartland coming back with plenty of supporters. Ashur now into the penalty area. Good defence by Hartland this time. Well, Ali scoring 20 minutes into the match and half an hour later really put a lot of pressure on the Hartland visitors. Del Fadil will pick up a free kick for Hartland as well. There's enough presence from Nwachi for the referee to give the free kick to Alali. To find a more regulation catch for Ikechuku Ezedwa. Negi, Ashua. And they're only playing with the sort of flair and the confidence and the swagger that we've seen from them. Every time they've been involved in the Cap Champions League, every time they've lifted the, tri the trophy, the title, every time they've been in front against an opposition, really have come out and provide a very entertaining football. Foul by Nwachi all over the back of uh, Shihab Eldin Ahmed. Well, there's going to be a change of personnel now in the Heartland camp. Sing Wonders Chipombo, the Zambian striker, has been sent on by Samson Tiasia. This seemed to make quite a difference when he came on against Ismaili a couple of weeks ago as well. He's a strong player is the Zambian. Fought by Alali. Clearance is made by Jackson. Oweri. Here's Chibambo. The ball's been poached away though by Eldin Ahmed. And Alali continue to play at uh, very lively pace indeed in this encounter. Yes, space for Moa Ward. The defenders went hanging around for the keeper to make a save. Intervention from Shinedi Wefu. Well, they do trail here by two goals to nil. Al Ali, they can, a bigger part in Hartland, they can hardly afford to concede another goal. It really would be quite disastrous for them will be the last thing on their minds as well. Moawad continues to be a threat from the left-hand side. Ahmed unable to really test his end from that position, almost apologising to his own teammates for being a little selfish on the ball.
celebrations that began right at the beginning of the match in support of El Ali in their quest for a semi-final berth in the Cup Champions League for 2010. And they haven't debated up to now. No reason for them to have diminished in any way at all. Right for Paul Fugan, watch with a chance, goal! With the Lolly not having things their own way, and watch pulls the goal back for Hartland. Face down the left-hand side, and suddenly it's game on in Cairo. Still some work to be done, but Hartland is showing their intent here. Forcing this, it's a lovely ball through by Ibanegu. And he took it first time, past the 18 captain Wald Gamar, wasn't able to match the pace of Anwachi, and Akrami beaten for the first time in the match. Well, that is really something special.